Hey everyone. I hope you're having a great day. Today in this very exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create an elegant and beautiful slideshow. So let's take a look at what we are going to create. That looks pretty awesome right? Before we begin make sure to hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. So without any further ado let's begin. Create a new project. I will name it a slideshow. Click OK. Now drag your stock footage to our project panel like this. Drag it to the timeline to create new sequence. Now we have our beautiful, majestic, incredible, video of a yawning bird. So let's start creating our effect. Select the video track, and go to effects and control panel. Make sure the time indicator is at the beginning. Now keyframe our scale and type in 1500. Drag the time indicator to 1 second, and change the size back to 100. Right click on the keyframe and select ease in. This will give us a smooth animation. If I play it, you will see that smooth zoom out effect. That looks good. Now drag and place the same footage above our video track. Make sure the time indicator is at 1 second. Press M on your keyboard to mark that 1 second. Select the above video track. In the effects and control panel, select the pen tool. As you see, when we selected the pen tool, a mask had been created. Change the video preview size to 25%. Now start masking the video, like I'm doing. I will make three different shapes, to make it look dynamic. Of course you can create your own shape. Join the point. Now we created our first shape. Again select the pen tool. It will create a second mask. Make a shape in the center. And we will also create our third and final shape. Now we have three different mask shapes. If I hide the below layer you can clearly see that our video track is only visible on our mask shape. That's what we needed. I will drag the last shape a little to the left. Now make sure that your time indicator is at 1 second. Select the top video track. In the effects and control panel, keyframe the mask expansion of all the three masks like this. Drag the time indicator to the near end of the video. Now we will increase the mask expansion until it clearly joins with other shapes. Increase the mask one. And increase the mask two, until it joins with mask one. And finally increase the mask three. That looks good. Now we joined all the mask shapes. Highlight all the keyframes and right click on it, then select ease in. Right click our top video track and select nest. We will name it as mask. Now go to the effects panel and type drop shadow in the search bar. 
drag the drop shadow to our top video track like this. If I unhide the below track you will be able to see that our drop shadow applied and looks good. Increase the distance and direction of the drop shadow until you satisfy. Increase the softness. That looks really great. Select our below track. In the effect panel type in Gaussian Blur. Drag the Gaussian Blur to our below video track. Increase the blurriness to 12. It will give a little dynamic difference to our effect. Again type in curves in the effects panel and drag the curves effect to our below video track. Increase the brightness by tweaking the master color like this. That looks great. Now select our mask group and we will add the same curve effect to our mask track. Drag the curve effect to our video track. We will increase some shadow and midtones on our master color. Give a little red tint to make it little vibrant. And finally drag the midtones of the blue to make it look great. Change the video preview size to fit. Now our video looks really vibrant and colorful, and it differs from the background. Make sure you selected our mask track and the time indicator is at 1 second. In the effects and control panel, keyframe the size at 1 second. Drag the time indicator to the beginning. And change the size to 1600. Right click on the keyframe and select ease in. We finally finished creating our slideshow. Let's play it and see. That looks super awesome. Our slideshow looks super good. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. If you want more amazing tutorials like this hit the like and subscribe button. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.